Greetings from ThemeRex team. Today we will try to make a logistics and transportation company site using the WP Cargo plugin. You can use the skin logistics from the query theme or a Pathfinder theme. These are themes crafted specifically for shipping companies. In this video I'll use query theme. It has a custom design for this niche and contains pre-made pages, post types, services, pricing, blog, contacts, and more. Let's install the WP Cargo plugin to make it a shipping company website. In your dashboard, navigate Plugins, Add New. In the search field, type in WP Cargo. Click Install Now and then Activate. When the plugin is active, you will see two additional menus – Shipment, where you manage all the shipments, and WP Cargo, where you manage all the settings. Also, this plugin generates three new user types. I am currently have just one admin user. Let's add new users. Start with the first one. Let's give it some username, email, name, last name, and if we open roles, we can see three new roles here. Let's give it a role WP Cargo Client and click Add New User. After that, let's create another one. Again, give it a username, email address, but this time let's give it a role WP Cargo Agent. and click Add New User. And the last one. The same procedure. Username, email address, but this time the user role WP Cargo Employee. Okay, now we have one admin, one agent, one employee and one client. Now let's review our settings. In general settings, we have types of shipment separated by comma. We can add or remove them here. Next, we have shipment mode, sea, land, air, separated by comma. Here we can also add or remove items. Then we have shipment locations. These are countries separated by comma. If you don't deal with some of them, you just remove them. Next, we have shipment carriers, DHL, USPS, FedEx. The same thing here, you can add or remove carriers. After that, we have payment options. You can add or remove payment options here as well. Then we have a list of possible shipping statuses like picked up, in transit, etc. I'll add the status abandoned to this list. Next, we can upload the shipping logo, enable or disable a barcode, choose the tracking page. For the tracking page, I'll use the home page. Then we have print settings, how the tracking results will be displayed. Next, we can restrict duplicate shipping numbers, enable their auto-generation, and also set prefix, suffix, and the number of digits in between them. Then we have color settings and tax rate. Below we have shipment history settings, display invoice, enable users time zone, and roles that can update the shipping history. Let's allow it to admin, cargo agent, and cargo employee. And finally, we can disable email notifications for certain roles. Let's save all the changes and move to the next tab. Here we can customize emails that clients receive. First, we need to activate clients' notifications. Next, choose which statuses should be notified. On the left side, we have auto meta tags that you can use in the email to customers. And finally, here you can customize the message itself. In the next step, we have admin notifications. It's exactly the same as a client's emails, but these are sent to the admins. Next step is multiple package settings. It's if you allow customers to ship several packages at a time. You can enable, disable this option and customize some of the settings. And the final tab is the map settings. It's a nice functionality. You can connect your Google Maps account with your site, display the progress on the map, and let customers choose location right on the map. You can get an API key 
this button will lead you to console registration page where you need to register, generate your API key, then restrict it and connect your billing account. I'm not going to all of that, but you can do this easily when you start working with the plugin. Okay, we are all set with the settings. Let's review the final menu. In all shipments, we will have all our shipments. Next, we can add a new shipment. Then we have tags menu and categories. It's more for internal use, so you could categorize your shipments. And finally, we have reports. Here you can generate reports by shipper name, agents, date range, statuses, etc. And you also can customize report fields. You can add or remove all of them or just some of them. Then click Generate Report. Let's go ahead and add a new shipment. As we said, the system generates the tracking number automatically. On the right side, you need to assign a client, an agent, and the responsible employee. Next, let's quickly add shipper's details. Name, phone number, address, email, and the same for the receiver. Then we need to fill in the shipping details. Let's choose the type of shipment. Then put some values for weight, packages, product, payment mode, carrier, departure time, destination, and pickup time. Also, we need to mention carrier, delivery mode, quantity, total freight, carrier's reference number if you use the third-party carrier, country of origin, because it's kind of important, pickup date and expected delivery date. Also, you can add some comments like handle with care or leave at the backyard. Below we have a map. When you connect an API, it will work properly. And next we have packages. Add a quantity, then packaging type. Let's choose carton. Then the description. Length. Width. Height and width. You can also add a new package and fill it in the same way or you can delete it. And finally we need to add a status. Choose the date, time, location, choose the status and add a remark. Then click Publish to save the changes. Great, it's our first shipment. Now let's add an online tracking form to our main page. Let's quickly return to the WP Cargo settings and copy the tracking form shortcode. Now let's go to our main page and add it there. Click on Edit with Elementor on the top bar. I'll scroll down and edit right here. Click on the plus icon, then this red icon and choose section. After that, let's add a widget called shortcode. Just drag and drop it and then simply paste the code that we just copied. Then I'll, in advanced tab, I can customize the style a bit. I'll just add the bottom padding. and choose the color scheme, let's say dark, and then click update. Now if we go to our main page, we have this online tracking form published. Let's go back and copy our tracking number. 
and then paste it to the form and click track results. Okay, here we have a barcode, detailed shipping information, packaging info and shipment history. Right now the package just picked up. You can go back and add a new status. Let's choose the date, time and location on the right side. Also, let's choose the status, let's say in transit, and add some random remark. Then click update and go back to our site. And track it again. If we scroll down, we will see that now we have two scans, picked up and in transit. Let's add the third one again. Choose a different date, time, location, and status out of delivery. And then click update. Now if we track the package again, we will see three scans. But the scan sorted by time. We need to move the last one up. But you can edit your shipping history in your dashboard. Just scroll down, find the shipping history and change the time for later. Then update the shipment and track the package again. Okay, now it's good. This way you can create your own shipping company website. Hope this video was helpful. Please subscribe for more useful tutorials.